left. What up, peeps? Oh my god, I know you guys have not seen me in the longest time. I apologize. I have been having a huge creative block, honestly. I just had like a lot going on. I was trying to figure stuff out. But anyway, I'm with my dad and he's showing me something that's so interesting. Well, if you look at the old houses here. This is where my mom used to live. She grew up, how long did she live here? I don't know how many years they lived here, but it was in the late 60s and 70s. Original Spanish tile roof. Is it big inside? Yeah, it used to come up on the porch. Dad, do you think we could knock? Do you think we could knock and ask no. to see it? <laughs> Grandpa would be sitting there smoking a cigar. Yeah. Those French doors were not there. And you see how stuff still seems like it's kind of in the tilt? Yeah. Which room was mom's? Well, there's two windows. There's two windows. Wait, and then what did you say? You said... <laughs> Her mom came home and we were messing around in the bedroom and I jumped out the window. Are you serious? I think I grabbed onto a bigger tree or something here. You know what's and, funny about that story, Dad? And then this is the dining room. That's the dining room. This deck wasn't here. The kitchen's on the other side. That's the living room. Wow. You know what's funny about that story, Dad? That you probably had it a has similar the same thing in our house. <laughs> I did it at Aunt Nancy's house, too. <laughs> That was funny. Oh, that's so funny. I wonder who lives here now. Did they used to have this here too, the little tiles? The, the, the red tiles are probably original. I don't know why. Do you remember it? Built the step up. Yeah, sure. This is really cool. Did you live far from here? Uh, about a mile. Can we see your walk. house? Oh, there are people are here. Can I see something? Hi, how you Hi. doing? Sorry to bother you. Okay. Uh, my, my mom grew up here. Yeah. Oh, here? Yes, yes in, in this, this house. house. Wow. So I was just looking at it because I have never seen it. It was Tudor. I see it. Um, can I look? Is it? <laughs> wow, this is so cool. We moved in here like two years Really? Oh, wow. I love lizards. This is so amazing. Did you move out? Still have this tiny Oh, 70s. Well, since then, they did like a major like um, interior renovation. I'm sure oh, that's so it cool. Would. I should have asked if we could go inside. It wouldn't look the same. It wouldn't even look No, but it would be interesting. Can we see your house? Here's the front of the house. This looks like a nice house. Was it big, Dad? Three story, yeah. Sure. It's, it's looks, looks really big. Her, but I thought you guys didn't have money. <laughs> it was a lot cheaper though back then, right? Yeah. This is so exciting. So my dad's showing me his house now where he grew up. It was only like a five minute drive from where this my mom's house was. Sure. This bush wasn't here. It wasn't that long. So funny. It and cool. It's all stone. We had a fireplace upstairs. That was this is my nice. sister Cindy's room on the third floor. And there's three windows here. That was me and Rick's room. We shared a driveway. This was our garage. See that dormer sticking out up top? That's a bathroom up there. This was the living room. A lot is still the same. That's the dining room. It looks really nice, Dad. Oh, it's so interesting because my parents were upstairs. back in the day, Vernon lived all the way up there. The houses were so much cheaper. So to me, this looks like a big, nice, beautiful house. It looks like really expensive, but back then it was. That was a storage area. This is we had a small back door. This is all deep. Those steps come up to the kitchen. This was closed in. We used to keep our door down, down here. here. It was a small yard. It's so funny. It's like we're walking back it's in the house. Small. Oh, it's cute. We used to hang out the back window and shoot birds with the wire with a BB gun. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> the neighbors, of course, were here. I like this. This is really cute. Oh my God, I love it. It's really pretty. It kind of oh, reminds me. The inside is nice. It's got uh, a fireplace. It's just it kind of reminds me of the Lancy Street, and that's like my favorite street. Just oh, walking, really? well, like walking no, this, down that. This was like a, it's still a desirable, nice area. This, these, this particular block is nicer houses than some of the other blocks. The houses could possibly go for about. I know at one time they were going for like over four hundred thousand dollars, which really surprised me. My parents probably paid in the teens when they bought teens? it. Teens? Yes. Holy it was the sixties. Wow, that's amazing. I don't. He used to live there. I grew up in that house. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw my daughter. That's awesome. A long time ago. Yeah. 60s, 70s. That's really cool. We were driving past and I was like, oh my God, can you please show me? I know I've seen it when I was a kid, but I just don't remember. And I have a pretty bad memory. So I was like, I want to film this. I have this memory forever. You didn't go here, Dad? Just mom? No. I think I've driven past here before and not known. This Green Street Cleaners has been there forever. Uh, it's, you know, it's 
night I got a terrible, terrible flat tire. Oh my God. Isn't that terrible? Awesome. Look how bad this is. I have a hole in my tire. How the hell do you drive? I have no idea. But you know what I realized after I, after I parked here, I'm so lucky because it was so close to shredding. I would have been one of those people. With one like, of those people. Well, no, you know how you see a shredded tire. No, on these are good the tires. The sometimes. Oh my God. You went off the freaking side of the road. Wawa run, son. I haven't been to Wawa in so long, but that just so happens to be where I parked my car when I got the flat. Whew. Thank you, Daddy. You're the best. Take, I'm surprised it came off relatively easy. So I never explained to you what happened with my car. Last night I was driving at like close to midnight on the highway. It was like a dark highway. They didn't have any lights on the road so I couldn't see but I hit a pothole. After I hit the pothole, I instantly, I heard that it was flat. It started making that like blah, 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 that noise. I had to drive about three miles on the flat tire so that I could get off on the road like right here because I knew there was a gas station. All of the tires that I've ever gotten flat, I've never had a giant hole like that taken out. I guess in reality, I'm lucky I'm safe because that could have been a really bad situation while on the highway. My dad is so nice. He fixed my tire. He put the donut on. And now I have to take it to a dealer to get the original tires. This is my dad's car. Classic now. I dropped my car off. This is the first time ever I'm not taking it to the dealership to get work. Guys, I'm so happy my dad is sleeping over. <laughs> this is kind of like my birthday dinner because I probably won't see my dad for my birthday, right? I don't know. It'd be nice if could. I know, I would love to, but I know that I'm going to be around people because I'm filming another cooking video really soon for you guys. And once I get exposed to new people, I kind of like to stay away from my dad because I don't want to get near him just in case I had COVID or was around anybody with COVID. But anyway, this is our dinner. We both got cedar plank salmon. It's kind of cool. They actually put it on the wood. This place has the best cheddar biscuits. Oh my God. And lobster mac and cheese. Thank you, daddy. I'm so happy he's sleeping over. You guys have probably never seen my house like this, but this is the office and when I have guests sleep over. Hey, Bamboo, transform it into a bedroom. Yay! We are so excited. Bamboo loves clean sheets, so he keeps messing it up. Guys, so it's time for our little talks that I miss having with you so much. And what this talk is gonna be about is, I want you to make sure that you always tell those that you love how you feel about them. And don't be afraid to say it, because I know sometimes it's like, you think about people a certain way, but you might not express it to them. But when you tell them, it feels so good for yourself and for them to hear it. I didn't say it on video because I wanted it to be like a real moment. But like I made sure I told my dad tonight how important he is to me and how much I appreciate him and all of what he has ever, he's done so much for me my entire life. And I really appreciate everything he's done. I feel like my dad is always there with the drop of a pin in a second. If I need my dad for anything, he's always there for me. It's so nice to have that. I think it's just important for you guys to verbalize things to people. Just let people know what you think. <laughs> And I appreciate you, Boo Boo, for always being snuggly. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is really cool. So in the morning when we wake up, I'm going to make Belgian waffles. So when I was a kid, we grew up having Belgian waffles every once in a while for breakfast. And my dad found our old Belgian waffle maker. And I was like, oh my God, bring it over. And I'm going to make waffles. So we're having Belgian waffles for breakfast for good old times. Guys, I love you. And I'm glad to be back. I needed that break that I took. And stay tuned because I'm making a recipe. It's Irish potatoes. It is a delicious, sweet candy kind of dessert. My mom used to make it and I loved it. I want to share the recipe with you guys. It's coming soon. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Yum yum Belgian waffles. This is the antique waffle maker. One of the legs is broken off. We had to prop it up. It was in my attic for 15 years. <laughs> when I moved, we put it there. It's been there ever since. So we're gonna try to make waffles. Oh, it's really smoky. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Look how old this is. And the bowl is as old as Oh, and this bowl, wait, this was my mom's bowl. If you guys check out my newest Instagram post, you'll see. I, I actually really hate this bowl because it's ugly, but I kept it as a memory. Start in the center, stay in the center. And we don't put too much in there. It reaches the edges. Stop, go more, more, more. Get it over this way. Is that good? It's gonna expand. Close it. Oh my God, I love Belgian waffles. The first waffle is messed up, but that happens sometimes on the first one. It tastes so good. You could see it in the middle. <laughs> it's so good, we don't even need to put syrup on it. It got like smushed, so I'm sharing half of one while the other one is being made. 
Here we go. Tasty one. This one came out pretty good. <laughs> it's a little overdone. That is really cute. Oh, anyway, guys, I will see you soon. I definitely missed you. And let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Peace on the streets, son. Bye.